Hey guys, it's Twitter on Maxwell here, and today, again in the Manchester United Youth Players Reviews, we are looking at Dimitri Mitchell. One player who I think, for some people in their saves, will turn out to be really, really good, and in some people's, I think, you know, he's going to be inconsistent, he won't be good enough. But, um, I'll say this, there's a chance he could make it at United in this game, there's a chance he'll definitely have a Premier League career, and he could be one of these players that ends up as a, as a high championship player. It's all down to how either you or the AI helps him develop. But let's look at him and see his good attributes, his bad attributes, and basically what to look out for. So again, straight up for the start, you notice three key components there. Tech, uh, sorry, dribbling, finishing, and first touch. Great start. You know, if playing as an attacking mid left, or right, or striker, you know, you need dribbling, you need finishing, and you need a good touch to put you in the good positions. So they're good starts to work with, especially him only being 17. So you get plenty of time to develop them. The worrying thing, Crossing's only an 8, if you're a left footed player like he is, and you're playing on the left, you know you're going to get a crossing up. The passing's a bit poor at 8, but again, technique at 9 is, is really good. I'd work in long shots as well. The big letdown for him, 2 stats over 10 for mentals. Flair's good at 19, that's what you want, he's a good Flair player. He's off the ball, he's good at 11, but it's just a lack of a work rate at 10. Um, determination being 9, poor decision making, anticipation positioning, teamwork, vision, all key stats, but I suppose over time that will come with age, I don't know if it will be amazing, but you know, he's certainly not a good base at the moment, and physically, well he's got pace, and a good acceleration, agility is okay, but another player that needs to get to the gym, lift a little bit to each strength up, and work on his, his stamina, maybe even his balance as well, but I mean, he gets a glowing report, you know, um, 5 star silver, which means a highly rated youth player, but he could only be a two and a half star, maybe a three and a half star potential player for Man United. So not great. And that would maybe put him out if I just quickly scroll up here, put him to the level of maybe a one matter, playing it in the left hand side. So not great, you know. But maybe as good as Ashley Young. So take that how you, how you want in this game. So he's got potential. A uh, favourite position would be a winger or an inside forward. You can also play as an AP or a wide target man. You play him up front. Again, you're looking at him being a poacher, a defensive forward, or an advanced forward. But he has just something about him that you just, if you give him the right amount of football, he may develop into a decent player. So, a quick look at the coach report. And he has the potential, as it says, to be a leading player for uh, a Premier League side. Great pace, great acceleration, and a couple of positions they can play in, makes him versatile. But his cons are he's not very determined, he can't pick out a pass in front of him. He's got a balanced and normal personality, fairly and poor intelligence, and he needs to improve his crossing. And it says right now, he's a good player for League 2. So he's not a player going to start straight away, but is he a player that just might turn out pretty decent? So here is Dimitri Mitchell, six seasons in, he's just left Manchester United, signed for Swansea, and you can already see massive improvements in the six seasons, all really good level of development which has turned him into a pretty pretty handy little player. You know his corners and crossing have went right up to, to 12 and 14, dribbling is now 16, finishing and first touch is 15, so these are all key components for somebody that's going to be playing as a, a left wing or a right wing. Uh, he's, lo he's lost his ability to play naturally as a striker, which I find quite weird, but if you want to retrain him he would still be available to play a striker with that good finishing. Again, the long shots are pretty poor, but at 10, there is room to improve. Even technique, passing, stuff like that is all improved. But the major improvement I've seen has got to be mentally. If you remember, just two stats were over um, 10. You now have anticipation, composure, concentration, decisions at 11. So he's not great, but he's getting there. And I think his technique, his, his high technique now of dribbling and stuff will help him, but that's certainly going to help him off the ball up high, work rate's good. And even physically, the acceleration's up to 19, his natural fitness is over 10, and he's, he's really learned to bulk up as well with good strength. So you can see here, at Swansea, basically, we'll quickly have a look at his scout report first. Uh, this is compared to Leicester in the Championship, but he's a, a good signing for most Premier League sides. He's a professional player. Still good that he's got good acceleration, he's a spirited individual, possesses great pace, he's versatile, and he could still improve significantly. So at this level, we have him as a four star player, he could be four and a half, so he could be a really good Premier League player. It's just like Yanazai, Billy suspect injuries, 
fairly selfish and does not like getting stuck into rough challenges. But we'll see here. Wee's history. First season, nothing. Second season is a decent wee loan spell out at Inverness. The third season, again rotted in the Man U reserves. Fourth season, couple of appearances at Brentford, nothing major. And then in the fifth season, out to Ipswich, a lot of football behind his belt, and that's surely aided his development. And then last season there, a couple of games at Swansea, but definitely a player that should have a good career. Will he have a good career at the end of the day, though? We can only find out. Here he is, guys, Dimitri Mitchell, at the tail end of his career at the age of 32. And as you can see here, what a career he's had. You know, he's, he's really come on, he's developed into a solid player. Um, stats are, you know, are really good looking at like kind of mid, mid Premier League, you know, would definitely easily boss the championship at this level. But, you know, good dribbling, great first touch, free kicks are up there now, crossing's good. You know, penalty taking, good passing, good technique, good, all great stats. But look at those mentals. You remember what we're dealing with at the start, now look at them. Composure up at 16, concentration's high. Decision making good, determination good, anticipation good, off the ball up to a 17, amazing. And again, physically that is going to decline because he is 32, but honestly, he has really turned it to a decent league player. Would only be a 2.5 star Premier League player, which again is pretty decent, you know, decent winger or a wide playmaker. I mean, he's done great, he's now sitting 66 grand a week. He even got an England cap, so he's really progressed into a good wee player in this. We'll quite a wee look at his scout report. So he's a very ambitious player. It would still be a good signing for the Premier League. Spirited, good pace and good overall top speed. And he's very consistent and can still play in, in various positions, which is good. We've seen in this one, he's now a mid left striker. And they'll just say if he could play left or right. So it will always vary. It just depends how you want to develop him. But again, it's just being selfish, being injury prone and not getting stuck into challenges. But overall, pretty good. His career in this one took a little bit of a different turn. He started off at Man U as you do, nice wee loan spell at Aberdeen, and then he had a couple of games out at 20, and then 20's B team, so good football there. He did his development, went to Swansea and loan, then a loan spell at Fulham, and then somehow Chelsea picked him up for 13.5 million. So that shows you, you know, even if you don't fancy him, if you keep him on, keep giving him loan spells, develop him, you could cash him in, cash in for him and get good money. So 13.5 million there. Different spells at Chelsea was in and out of the team, had a good season in 22-23, scoring 6 goals and 20 appearances. But uh, two games in, in, uh, sorry, three games in two seasons, ended up seeing him going to Everton. A bit inconsistent there, but it's really been at Burnley. When he made the move, at, I think he was about 29-30, 4.4 million. You know, 20 goals in about 80 games, coming off the left-hand side, simply fantastic. That's the last two seasons especially, the 13 goals in 30 games, with 6 assists and then 6 assists. Three goals in 21, and considering that's only in January, meaning he could really be racking up the assists and helping Burnley. So Dimitri Mitchell, as I say, is one player I'd definitely give a new contract to. I would definitely think there's huge things to come from him. Whether it's at United in the FM remains to be seen, but it's your player. If you want to develop him, he may turn out to be a star. So I'll give, I'll give him an 8 out of 10, because I feel if he had a full career of first-team football, he would be exceptional. I just feel the lack of games at Chelsea certainly hindered his progress. So guys, if you have used Dimitri Mitchell or intend to use him, any comments or whatever, please leave them in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And until next time, this is 21 Maxwell, and I'll speak to you real soon. Bye-bye.